That's my windshield that I picked up. It's in the back of my camper van. That's my windshield. So I'll grab that somewhere safe. And this is my rear axle. Also in my camper van. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little uh, axle there is. Obviously I've got to get uh, new gaskets for the ends. I also need the drum brakes, drum, drum brakes for it, which I think are nine inch. So I've got to get some of them. But yeah, that's the rear axle. I'm going to clean all of that, paint all of that before it goes on my car. Because obviously when I take the old axle off, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> do all the work in the back underneath before any axle goes back in. So yeah. If you're watching, thank you, uh, Aaron Jacobs. Done me a nice deal on it. Had to go all the way to Bournemouth to get it. Yeah. I'm going to uh, dig out my exhaust and everything to show you that. <clears throat> Back soon. These are my um, half shafts. I've left them in the packaging because I don't want the ends getting damaged. But I believe these are 16, is it 16 tough? Something like that. Uh, oh, I've already got the brackets on the end that bolts it to the finger, the axle. Um, yeah, I need nine inch brake drum kit, you know, the, the shield with all the gubbins and the drum. So I've got to get them. The person I got these off did have some, but I never got to it in time because I was having to save up some more money. Because these wasn't exactly cheap. So, yeah. That's my... half shafts so that's that sorted I can tick that off of the list and I'll be back with you when I show you the next piece this is my power steering pump yep. pulley and everything just better get the lines but I think the bloke who I got it off said he, he might have some the bloke that delivered me this with the exhaust really nice bloke doing up um a really beautiful Mark III he is. Yep, so that's the pump. Obviously this will be done in the shed, sanded down, painted. Probably black. Yeah, so that's the power steering pump. That's, again, ticked off the list. with you with the next one next piece <laughs> just, just updating you on my parts so back short this is the middle box two into one system so do obviously joins up in there I think, I think it's brand new uh, I can't remember if you said it's been on a car but didn't get used and it was taken back off again or something like that but it's, it's not actually been used so I suppose you could just class it as old is it new old stock something like that so that's the middle section um yeah so there's not really much I could show you about that but that's my new exhaust system I know that this should be the last thing I think of, things like this, but you have to grab things when you can, especially when they're a good price. So I know there's things I need that's more important than an exhaust, but when it's offered to you at a good price, you have to snap it up, unfortunately, before someone else does. So this is something I can now take off my mind and know I've got at a really good price. And this came, it, the same bloke I got the 
power steering pump off as well and the back box which I'll show you now the back box this is the back box yeah it's a little bit rusty obviously it's been stored but it's only surface rust as you would expect from a new exhaust system but yeah it's got all paper on it and everything so that's my back box um nothing exciting really <laughs> is that the, uh, is that a tile or is there another piece that goes on the end of that or is that what sticks out the back not very exciting is it i have to get a tip for that a nice chrome tip but yeah that's me back box again something i haven't got to worry about the only thing i've got to worry about now is two down pipes Mine are rusty, I don't know if I can save them because I'm pretty sure that when those removed one of them might have been sawed through to get it off. I'll have to double check that. I think they're in the I think I put them in the boot. So the next piece will be my um chassis rails. So let me go and get them and show you them. So these are my chassis rails. Yeah, brand new. Got these off eBay. I think they cost me £115 for the pair. And I think they're Magnum, yes. Magnum. So, pretty good. Pretty good make. Uh, so, that's them that's sorted. Now, the reason it's taking me so long at the moment is because i got to save up to get the floor. Because all this is money, 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 money. Which I don't mind doing, spending money on it. Like I said, no budget. But it obviously involves me saving up. And with things breaking and stuff, it's slowing me down. I have had people saying that they'll donate to help me towards it. All my PayPal link and GoFundMe is in the, in the description part of my YouTube. You don't have to. At the end of the day, it will get done eventually. It just means it'll take longer because I've got to save up each month. So it's going to take a while, obviously. But for those of you who want it to see more content, <laughs> and obviously getting quicker videos out more often, if you want to help, you can help. If you want to help towards Courtney and have your part. And uh, also, I want some um, stickers to put in my rear windows. Like... Octon Classics, Pete C, you know, all that, all them stickers and stuff. So that when I go to the Cortina meets and people see it for the first time, it'll have their stickers in it. You've got to, you've got to uh, stick a bum the windows on a nice car like this. <laughs> so, I am working on another video, so that'll be hopefully out soon. More welding and metal work, obviously. So that that'll be out soon, and I'll uh, look forward to the next one. So please like and subscribe, as it really does help. There's loads of people watching that haven't subscribed, and I'm getting really, really close to being monetized, and that will help with the build as well. Because my dream is to not just have a Cortina. There's other old cars I want as well. So there will be old cars. I'm hoping to rebuild like Ford Capri and stuff like that in the future so that would involve me getting a big big workshop I love old cars and I want to get my dream cars and rebuild them and drive them so see you in the next one